My name is Nathan. I've been uh, training free running and parkour for about six years now. I'm from Liverpool in the UK. Here to the studio, you know what I'm saying? What's the best thing about free running for you? Free running? Um, it's sort of, I've never really been into sports or anything. I used to be quite a chubby kid. And then um, I just like the fact that there's no rules or like regulations for doing it. You can just go out. Don't need to have a scooter or a bike or anything. Go out and some shoes and go train. And it's keep me healthy. So. When we were filming the other day for the video, you said that you, did, that you said that you didn't train much outside anymore. Why, why is that? Um, you can come across injuries and stuff, and I've had a few injuries in the past, which have set me up for years. And I've just got used to training indoors now. It's, it's safer, and uh, you don't get any hassle from any police or security outside. So I've started to just keep myself in the gyms and the academies now. So uh, these parkour parks, would these make you train outside more? If we had parkour parks, I think it would be a place for everyone to meet up and you would never be able, you could always go out and you would have someone to train with and uh, you wouldn't get stopped by the police or anything. I think if the design specifically for free room and parkour, then there's less likely chance that you're going to get injuries and stuff. What is your personal opinion about these parks? Um, I think they're good and there's bad there's bad stuff about them as well. Like they're good because they'll be specifically for training. So there'll be loads of stuff to do there in a small space and you won't have to travel a lot. Um, they're good because for meetups, meeting up with new people. And uh, the only like bad thing is that free one was made for you know getting from one point to another as quickly as possible and to be used in environments that aren't meant to be vaulted or flipped over so it sort of takes away from the original meaning behind free room and parkour. Would they help the sport grow and get more people interested in it in the parks? I think they would help the sport grow. You'd always see new kids just coming and trying stuff out on the new parks and it, it's always great to see like all new people and you could just go up and they'd be able to meet new people or like old people are training, get advice and tips and stuff. So I think it will help the sport grow. Where do you prefer to train and why? Um, I do prefer to train outside. Like, it's just that injuries, I hate having injuries. So I always think I only go outside when I need to, you know, like if I want to film a video or if I'm meeting up with someone to take them around places. Um, I usually go outside then, but it's safer for me to stay indoors and practice my moves and get them perfect before I take them outside. What's your favourite type of training? So you got your, your, you know, your flips, running, climbing, what's your favourite type? Um, I'm better at doing flips and the more gymnastic side of it, but um, I do prefer doing parkour, which is like just getting from one point to the other as quickly as possible and climbing and stuff. It's more strength and it's it's just fun to do. Every place is different, whereas you can do flips anywhere and it'll all be the same. Where do you see yourself with parkour in five years' time? Hopefully I'm still training and I haven't got too many serious injuries. Hopefully I'm still travelling the world and getting jobs and maybe making it to my full-time job. If these parks were built in Liverpool, where would you see the sport in five years' time? Or just around the northwest? If they were built, I, I can already see it growing now because we've, we've got an academy. But I think it'll grow even more with the outside community. I always see kids come and train, like they go for like summer and then they leave in like winter and they'll never come back to it. When there's parks and they have a specific place to go, I think it'll just carry on growing and growing. I'll be Nathan, thanks for listening, hopefully. You'll uh, get some information on free run and you'll enjoy this interview and you might give it a try someday.